Hey everyone, it's Benjamin here from the African Geek. Today, what we are going to be doing is what you see on my screen. So stay tuned, I mean, open Canva and let's get into it. Okay, so before we get started, this design is actually very simple. It should literally take you less than two minutes to be able to make if you are a Canva user. You know, maybe if you are not new to Canva, it should take you less than two minutes. But even if, look, let's dive into it. I think I'm talking too much, you know? All right, so this is what we are actually going to make. And the first thing we are going to do, or I have to do, is to click on a new page. And um, the dimension I'm using is 1080 by 1350. So what we are going to do is, um, or what you have to do is to set your background color. So let me just show you the background color i'm using which is 221e1f and um, you can actually use any background color of your choice all right so now the next thing we are going to do is to go into element and in element just search for christmas ball you see that there are so many of them over here but you can also come into photos to find some interesting ones and um, to be able to find you know some of these balls without when i say balls um, i just hope you are focused on what i'm saying boss okay so <laughs> so just come into you know the filter option over here scroll down until you see cut out only select it and apply filters so you know it should actually give you christmas balls and um, you can choose any one of your choice so just go through take your time go through and find the ones you want okay so um if you're not finding any of them also that you can come into graphics and then um, you should see some you know this is actually an interesting one you can use and then um, once you select it you can see now giving us more options I can click on C or and we have so many options over here. Okay, so now um, the next thing we just have to do is let me just I think I'll, I don't want this one. I would go for any other one that looks beautiful to me. This is actually beautiful. So I would increase the size. Okay, and position it somewhere here. Okay, which is now looking very cool. Now come back into element in element search for Christmas sleigh. So C H R I S T M A S sleigh S L E I G H. Okay, so. So that's what you actually have to search for and um, you know there are so many options over here so but i'll come into graphics okay and in graphics just scroll down a little bit you see something like this you know these two options are any you know you can just choose any of these two options so i'll select this one and position it here okay then what we are just going to do is we have to change the color to make it match the background so i just select it and i'll rotate it slightly a little bit okay yeah then we'll come back into element and search for christmas tree so i would clear the select and just type tree over there and um, you can see there's so many interesting options we can choose from but i like this one so i'll just choose this one okay and position it here change the color to match the background okay and that's the only trick about this tutorial duplicate it okay and you can adjust the um, the sizes of it okay or the weight of these um, trees and that's you know the main thing about this particular design so you can see what i am trying to do all right so duplicate position it here i can make it bigger a little bit duplicate i can just bring this one here reduce it you know somewhere here okay and just make sure you're arranging it very nicely so i can just maybe choose any of these and i can um, duplicate okay and i'll just bring this one here duplicate it again now bring this one also over here and what you'd have to make sure you're doing is select all of them and use ctrl g to group okay or you'd see the group option over here you can just do that so you can see how this is actually looking at the moment the next thing we are going to do is just to add um some text to it so press t on your keyboard to add the text bring it down over here um with the color you can use a color picker okay to pick any color on your ball so that you can have the christmas vibe you know because if you want to actually find the golden color from the color thing um you know the color wheel or the color slider we have in canva it's actually going to be difficult so once we have you know an element that has all of these golden colors the easiest way to find a golden color is just to use the color picker to pick the colors out of it so that's what you'd have to note okay okay so uh, this doesn't look too golden to me or it doesn't look too much of you know it doesn't look golden to me so i would carefully you know take my time okay and i think i love this one okay then with the four Font, i'm using just which is um a custom upload i made in canva so this is a very good opportunity for me to tell you about canva pro so just in case you are looking at doing more inside of canva when it comes to removing background images publishing canva designs directly from canva to any social media platform adding multiple brand pits uploading custom fonts having more animation options when it comes to working with teams or larger teams inside of canva all of this is possible so i have a link in the description box below that can help 
help you use Canva Pro for free. So kindly check it out and start using Canva Pro today. The next thing I want to talk to you about is the 60 photo descriptions ebook I have created for you. This contains 60 descriptions you can just copy and paste into Canva and find high quality images inside of Canva. And the last thing is I've also upgraded my assorted canva templates from 20 to 65 templates so now you have more templates you can actually use for anything at all you want so all these links can be found in the description box below all right so now come back here and i'll just say merry okay or happy christmas depending on what you want to say okay so um just click here and i just say merry okay oh i think maybe will be two shots i'll just choose um i'll just say we wish you a happy okay then i will duplicate this so Control d for duplicate bring it down over here okay and i can just say christmas so all caps c-r-i-s-t-m-a-s all right then i'll just make the size bigger okay so i'll move this one up a little bit and um, with the weight of this particular font i would you know make it heavy so i have you know just actually comes with um, a lot of weight or varieties you know in terms of weight so i'll choose the just medium and this is what we have over here okay then i can duplicate this one and bring it here and just say we wish you a happy christmas and a happy new year okay so and a happy new year right so you can see how easy and simple so this is the thing we want to make sure we, everything we have here is positioned well and if you want to use your human eye you know, to be doing this and that and that it's actually not going to be the best so canva has the position options we can use okay so come into position while you have the selected and click center okay okay now we are actually we've actually centered it correctly we'll do the same for this and the same for this also okay and make sure the spacing you know in between your text is um you know it's accurate or you know it's reasonable i don't know if i'm using the correct word but you know just understand what i'm trying to say so i'll choose all of this and i'll use the size just a little bit okay because if it's too big it makes it look funny so you can see what we have been able to create inside of canva so i hope you found this um, tutorial helpful and just in case you're looking for more canva tutorials there are actually three things you have to do first of all support this video smash the subscribe button to get notified anytime i upload new videos and also check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next tutorial <laughs>